G'day guys, uh, just showing you, bringing you the latest uh, miniatures that I've completed, um, what you can see in front of you, uh, miniatures from the game uh, Relic Blade, um, now I believe these miniatures were designed by a guy called Sean Sutter, who um, 3D sculpted them and these are actually cast in metal. Uh, he also wrote, wrote um, the rule system that goes with the game Relic Blade and I believe he launched it via Kickstarter and then has uh, had some successful uh, Kickstarters since then. Um, now, my customer um, will be using these, not specifically with that particular set of rules, but with um, some other sort of adventure-based skirmish rules. Um, not sure which, but... Um, yeah, they're really interesting character figures. They're about, they're sort of slightly on the larger side of um, 28 mil. They're much, they're closer to 35 mil. Um, but, and they're, yeah, they're, they're good to paint. Um, so we'll just, so I can bring them forward, as long as we can keep focus. Anyway, so first we've got this rather mean-looking lady. Um, she's quite scarred and beaten up with a patch on her eye and a, and armed with crossbow and sword and, and this sort of thing. So that's her. And then you've got these two guard figures with a slightly sort of Middle Eastern um, kind of vibe to them. Um, so these, uh, my customer said, can you paint them in something that is a colour scan that's sort of reminiscent of um, the St Kilda football team colours, which, <laughs> uh, which is a football team for those of you outside Australia, uh, an Australian rules football team um, based out of um, St Kilda in Melbourne. And, um, yeah, have the colours, the red and white, black, grey sort of thing. Um, so what I've done, um, I've various uh, sort of greys and reds and whites and subtle differences in these and giving the sort of stripe into the turban but what I've also done is they have this um they actually come sculpted on with this some of the I don't know if it was like the city guard sort of badge or something um on there so what I've done is I've painted that up in a St Kilda type shield format I mean the St Kilda thing is a cross but this is this is sculpted as some sort of I don't know upside down v kind of in black underneath um so what I've done is then I've done, I've put that onto the shields. So it's got the St Kilda colours on the shields. <laughs> so they've got this, yeah, shield design to go with their, with their theme. So that's those guys. A bit of fun. So they're, they're very, two almost identical looking miniatures with slight variations in poses. Um, so, you know, I've given them different beards. One's got a more of a, a brown beard and this one's got a sort of a bluish black beard but um yeah next up we have two sort of assassin type figures again very very similar figures you can you can almost pose them well not quite identically but very similarly because the arms are um, some of the arms come separate with a socket and can be posed in different ways um so they've got throwing daggers in their hands uh in one hand and you can see his is, he's got a throwing dagger tucked up in there. Um, and then this big stabbing kind of assassin's dagger and another throwing dagger tucked in that side. And same with this guy, he's got throwing dagger up under there, one strapped to his leg there. He's about to throw one here. And then he's got this big stabbing stiletto thing here. So the idea with these guys was to go have similar colour schemes, but again, 
they're, they're very similar figures, but to mix it up. Um, so you, so what I've done, I've gone for a couple of different things. I've varied up. We've got two different skin colors. So this is quite a dark skin guy. And then you've got the paler skin there on this fellow. Um, now the cloak is what's called off the, the base color is called an Oxford blue. So it's a really deep, uh, dark blue gray. Um, and that color appears elsewhere on the figure on, on this figure. So, and then you've got this really dark purpley sort of undergarment and this, um, sort of greeny, dark foresty, greeny, bluey color on the trim and stuff and then you've got black leather as well on various straps and and um, bits and I'll, be, I'll put some stills up at the end so you can get a better idea so again same color palette is used on this chap but we just mix it up or I just mixed it up so you've got the deep purple um, of the, um, the cloak and then he's got that deep sort of foresty green gauntlet things and leather work. But he has sort of black trim and, and his main um, sort of clothing is this Oxford blue, this dark. Yeah. They look fairly menacing. So I thought I kind of went for colours of that or kind of to me like night kind of colours. They're deep purples and they're deep blues and the dark greens, you know sort of um <clears throat> i mean i could have gone crazy and sort of done it like painted it like the, tried to paint it like they were in moonlight but then i'd have to have a completely different basing scheme as well and dramatic sort of lighting and it wouldn't necessarily fit with the other figures um so here are some of the other guys so again you can see the shink i've gone um st kilda uh shield sort of style thing design um that i used on these other guys i've used uh Stop pointing with my finger and point with something else. Um, yeah, used on this guy's kite shield. He's quite cool. He's got a nice helmet with a plume. And you've got some of the other colours following through. Like he has this same quilted jacket that in this blue, this particular shade of blue that, that this girl back here does. But you've got the nice contrasting colours with the sort of bit of the reddy brown clothing coming through and a dark cloak. Yeah. And he's got this sort of silver raven um, badge up on his uh, sort of brooch on his cloak. Um, and then this sort of ranger captain looking guy. Um, I've just kept going for it. I thought, oh, he might be a bit different from the sort of more town based guys. We do, I've just given him like a black leather shield. It's hard to make out, but there's actually subtle, subtle tonal differences from light to dark on here and little sort of marks and scratches and divots, but we didn't show up too well on the camera. So, yeah, so he's got. Various couple of different shades of green on his um, waistcoat and shirt, browns and leather sort of colours. And this sort of russet cloak. Like most things, you know, they look <laughs> they look better in person than they often show up on the camera. Um so yeah, pleased with how he's a he's a sort of rugged looking face as well. He's quite a creased looking frowny face it reminds me a bit of the um oh from that old ralph bashke lord of the rings uh animated movies um the way aragorn was depicted in that his face it sort of reminds me a bit of that without the ridiculous mini skirts that bashke put on <laughs> his characters that were very short tunics that were very silly but yeah so yes yeah, so i'm really pleased with the highlighting and the contrast and stuff excuse me so i'm just trying to bring these on a bit okay then you've got more uh, like a rangery kind of dude um and he's 
not going to focus. Yeah, I have to bring him back in with the others. He wants to look at the hole. So yeah, he's got his foot up on a bit of a, a rock there. Green cloak, greens, browns, russets, leather colours. There you go, there's his, his cloak. As I say, they look, they look better in person, but the camera never quite shows them up. I don't know. Well, I guess that's what happens when you've got to do it yourself. Set up, isn't it? <laughs> and you haven't got proper gear to show them off to their best effect. And everything jumps in and out of focus. So there's actually... Um, let's see if I can point the, some light on there. It's got a little bit of a some sort of fungi growing under there on the rock that I've painted in a slightly orange colour. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah, I'm pleased with how they all turned out actually. And then you've got this interesting looking city guard character. Let's see if I can bring him into Put some high beam on him. There he is. Big thick blonde moustache. And what I've done is I've actually gone again this this shield motif i've actually um that's not sculpted on that i painted that on that little shield motif is to just to well keep with the theme <laughs> basically some sort of man at arms with this huge bill hook thing male coif and helmet it's a bit of a character he's got some of his his gear on his belt there he's got um, loaf of bread and this big leather pouch and then he's got like a, some sort of glass bottle of refreshment with uh, some sort of wicker case around it and then round here on the end here tied on with the rope is a round of cheese <laughs> it's actual cheese so which is kind of fun something to sustain him as in, on his adventures or just standing on guard for hours on end yeah so pretty pleased with how those guys all turned out. Yeah, took my time with them to try and sort of create that sense of um, individual character. And um, also, you know, tr tying in motifs and, and, and colour palette and stuff like that. Yeah, so, and um, so I... I there's also different skin tones on these two guys because um, these slightly mi Middle Eastern looking guys, I gave them a more bronzed skin tone just to mix it up a bit as well because they look a bit different. Um, but yeah, that's them. Sorry, it's not all being all together in focus. I'll bring the box. There we go. There we go. They're sitting on a box, a file box. Yeah, a little bit closer. So, yeah, fun commission. Um, yeah, I uh, enjoy painting these sorts of character projects anyway guys that's that's all for now um i'll stick some endeavor to put some stills um at the end of this thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye